Hello there, math people. This is lesson one of unit two, polynomials. And in this lesson, we're going to look at how to divide long, um, how to do long division on polynomials. Now, you may recall from your fifth grade math class um, how to do long division. So what you learned in fifth grade math class was something like divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And that's exactly what we're going to do in class today. We're going to divide, multiply, subtract, bring down when dividing polynomials. Um, a couple of things you need to remember when dividing polynomials is that x times x is x squared. So in other words, or x times x times x is x cubed. So I can say x squared divided by x is going to be x. And x cubed divided by x would be x squared because we're, uh, we're subtracting those exponents. So that's one thing that you need to remember as we do this. And then the other is divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay? All right, so let's look at a problem. Our dividend is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 11, and we're dividing into that. Our divisor is x plus 1. So our question is, what can I multiply by x to get x cubed? Well, we can see here that if I have x and I multiply by x squared, I'm going to get x cubed. So when I divide, I can divide x into x cubed and get x squared. So I did my first step, divide. The second step is to multiply. So I'm going to multiply x squared by x plus 1. And that would give me x cubed plus x squared. OK? So I divided, I multiplied, now I'm going to subtract. So when subtraction is same as adding the opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my signs and then add them together because subtracting is just adding um, the opposite. So when I do that, x cubed minus x cubed, that zeroes out. And now I have negative 3x squared plus negative x squared, which is going to be negative 4x squared. So I've divided, I multiply, subtract. Now my next step is to bring down. So I'm going to bring down the 6x. And then I'm going to repeat the process. So I'm going to start all over again. Divide. What can I multiply by x to get negative 4x squared? So in order to get that negative 4, I have to multiply by negative 4. In order to multiply x by to get x squared, I need an x, so 4x. So I divide it, I multiply, I get negative, because what I'm doing is I'm saying negative 4x times x plus 1. And that would be negative 4x squared minus 4x. And then we subtract by adding the opposite. So I'm going to change my signs and add them together. So that zeroes out, and I'm left with 10x. The next thing to do is to bring down the 11. And what can I multiply by x to get 10x? 10. So I multiply that, and I get 10x plus 10. So what I did was I did 10 times x plus 1, and that's how I got this, 10x plus 10. And now I'm going to subtract. So to subtract, I change the signs. And when I subtract, I get 1. There's nothing else to bring down, so this is my remainder. 
So I write this as x squared minus 4x plus 10 minus 1 over x plus 1. Now one of the things I want you to notice here is that we started with x cubed and my answer went to x squared. And that's going to make a difference to, uh, in the next video when we do s s uh, synthetic division. So notice how my, my exponent decreases. I started with third and then I went to one zero. Okay? All right, let's do another problem. We're going to start off doing it again. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So what can I multiply by x to get x cubed? x squared, and then I'm going to multiply x squared times x minus 5, and I get x cubed minus 5x squared. I subtract, changing my signs, and that will give me negative 9, this zeroes out, and then I have negative 9 plus 5, which would be negative 4x squared, and then I'm going to bring down 23x. So I divide again, so what can I multiply by x to get negative 4x? Negative 4x. So I Multiply again, I have negative 4x times x minus 5, and that's going to be negative 4x squared, as I distribute that, plus 25. So then I subtract by changing the signs. So that becomes positive, and that becomes negative, and then I add them together because subtraction is just adding the opposite, and it becomes negative 2x. And then I bring down the 15. And I do it again. What can I multiply by x to get negative 2x? And that is negative 2. So I'm going to do it again. I get negative 2x plus 10. And then I subtract, and add those together, I get negative 25. And so now remember that's my remainder, so I write my answer as x squared, x squared minus 4x minus 2 minus 25 over x minus 5. Okay, boys and girls? And that is how we do long division. So what I would like for you to do <clears throat> is pause the video and try number 12 on your own. Okay, welcome back. Let's do 12. So what can I multiply by 2x to get 2x cubed? And that would be 2, nope, it'd just be x squared. If I can erase it. So that would just be x squared, and then I get 2x squared, I'm multiplying, minus 2x cubed, I don't know what's wrong with me, minus 2x squared. I subtract, so I have 17x squared minus 34x. Well, this one's a little hard because 2 doesn't go into 17. Um, an even amount of times it goes into it eight and a half so this is going to be 8.5 and then I multiply this and I get 8.5 x so that's going to give me 17 x squared minus 8.5 x I'll change the size and that's going to make it positive so I have 34.0 minus 8.5, that gives me 0. 0.5, that changes to 33. Uh, 8 and 13 would be 5. I had to borrow one, so that's going to be 25.5. I don't like the fact, I don't know why they give you such ugly numbers here. And then that'll be 13. 
So what can I multiply by 2x to get 25 and a half? Uh, if it were just 25. Okay. I, you would need a calculator, and I don't have a calculator, so I have to do this the long way. 2 goes into 25.5. I have to use the old-fashioned long division. That's 1, 2, bring down to 5. 2 goes into 5 2 times. That's 2. I'm sorry, that's 4. And 1.5. Uh, 2 goes into 1.5. Uh, 15, 2 goes into 15, 7 times. So that's going to give me 14, and then 10, so 12.75 is that answer. Okay, and for the record, you won't have any like that on your test. So this would be 25.5x minus 12.75, so your remainder would be 0.25. So your answer, which again, we were not going to have anything like this on our test, 0.5, uh, is it minus or positive? It's positive, 0.25 is the same as 1 fourth over 2x minus 1. I'm sorry for that hard problems, but it gave you some decimal, and I didn't realize that. Okay, boys and girls, uh, that's how you do long division, and watch the one on synthetic division next. I think you will like that better.